Steve Keith as we got we got people who responded. Hey, sh should I address the Chief Keith thing real quick? I felt bad that I used Chief Keith as. I felt I used him as an example, but it wasn't about him. The point was this, right? Hey, I've used, like, I was a platform that helped try to bring any type of awareness to you guys. A lot of rappers, and, 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 it, could, and it doesn't only apply to Chief Keith, Lil Durk, Lil Reese, any Chicago rappers that I may have covered in the war in Chirac, but... For 2015, 2016, when I started covering a lot of the clout rappers, like, no disrespect before Uzi, is, Uzi, who's like this huge superstar, bro, was the only one covering everything he was doing. Yo, Uzi feels this. Uzi did this. Uzi, blah, blah, blah. And Uzi, yo, I can't wait for this song. Now, that was a time when people said that, yo, those are like mumble rappers, and they're not going to last, and they're going to go away, and they're like, you know what I mean? Whatever the case is, now they lasted. All I was trying to tell y'all is that part of the reason and at the mere fabric of what I've built, I used to serve that community. Now, keep it real. I'm going to be honest with you. If if you guys are looking to me to find the next, like, underground nigga, like, I'm not even looking at most of the niggas. I'm going to be honest with you. So, and, and, I, and I think there was some dude named Kenny something. I can't remember his name. People got mad at me about, bro, just genuinely, I was really into just SoundCloud rapper type music then, and I covered them. Bro, I'm not a fake dude who would do anything for money. I'm not going to just exploit the underground because I think that, no, if I'm into the music, I'm into it, right? And, um... If you ask why, like, you know, I reached out to these people, Dirk, Keith, this and third, because I finally got, like, some backing behind me. Spotify is saying, yo, whatever that chat nigga audience you got, that young, like, hey, they love Cardi, they love Tekka, they love, they love all these newer artists, you know what I mean? And maybe to some extent, you know what I mean? Even though Baby's a superstar now, but still. We want to just, we want to see you give media on a bigger platform and we're giving you the back end to that, to what you have specialized in. So, you know who the first people I hit up? I hit up the first people who I hit up, who, who I used to cover way back then when I was just in an apartment, just trying to do it. And I feel like my brand was developed enough where people could realize that, hey, like, with all due respect, I love Dirk, and I love Keith, and I love Reese, and I love a lot of all the artists from, from the Chirac, Warren Chirac movement, but I don't need to cover y'all to make a living anymore. But I still I still remember where I came from. So y'all are the first people I want to put on this new platform that's getting co-signed by a huge DSP. So I, I apologize, or not apologize, but like, I felt bad that I use um, Keith as an example because he was the only person, like, just going off on that rant, I just remember him not responding, right? But he had me on red. Now, let, let me give the full story. And for any clip challenge that didn't, don't want to get the other parts, I'll say this. Chief Keith has responded to me. Me and him went back and forth. Lil Durk has responded. I can tell you this, and by the way, I love Dirk. Dirk has told me, he said, hey, listen, I won't tell you when. He said, listen, he's going to drop an album around a certain time. Let's link up then. We'll do something for your podcast. That's so respectable, and I love that. Dirk, I love you for that. You know why? <clears throat> and always people, they try to muddy it with other shit. When Dirk was someone who was off of Def Jam and looking for a way, Dirk used to come to me. Right, not not a management team, not an agency, not some PR team. He used to hit me and say, "Yo, Ack, yo, could you post up this or whatever, whatever?" And it was Dirk himself asking, and I never said to him like, "Nah, you're not hot right now, bro," or "Nah, blah blah." blah. I always said, and I told him he knows this. I said, "I will post up anything for you because I feel a debt 
to people like you in how my careers went. I fuck with you, Dirk. I don't care if you I don't care if you never make it big. I'll always post your shit. So just send it to me directly. I'll post it. Dirk is a really huge artist now. And by the way, you'll realize Dirk still like all my posts. He'll comment on my shit still. He not going if, if certain bullshit is posted on my page that he don't want to agree with. And by the way, for some people who might think Dirk's on some sensitive shit too, man, when I used to cover Dirk, Keith, and all them people, I used to cover their ops too, like people who were actually trying to kill them. And they could still be, they were able to discern that, yo, okay, he's covering whatever, whatever, but I don't got to comment on that. I, I could comment on shit just about me. For Dirk, and this is positive, Dirk says, yo, act, we're going to get this interview when I'm putting out blah, blah, blah project at this time. I won't tell y'all what time it is because I don't want y'all to, I don't know if I'm leaking something, right? I respect that. And I know he's someone who's so solid because he knows when he wasn't in the position he's in now, he knew academics never turned his nose up and said, nigga, I'm only covering the hot artists. And I, I, have, I do do that, but there's been a specific set of examples that I'm like, I'll always cover y'all niggas. And Dirk obviously respects that. Dirk, I love you for that. And I can't wait till we sit down and we just have a conversation on Off The Record, exclusively on Spotify. Keith responded to me. <clears throat> I'll tell you, you want to hear Keith's response? So Keith hit me and Keith said, and I guess people... You know, damn, you know, our clips went really far. Keith hit me and said, yo, damn, Ak. And you know me, I'm going to keep it 100% always. He said, yo, Ak, bro, why you be on some lame shit, bro? Why, why, why you got to say that? And and for him, I guess he was saying, you know, and, and by the way, I didn't know how, like, you know, not in the loop he was. He said, yo, Ak, we've taught before. Nigga, I didn't leave you on red on some, like, I'm trying to play you shit. Like, nigga, I didn't even know what you were talking about. He says, and then secondly, I don't really do interviews. You get me? So he's like, yo, we've talked about shit. You've said shit. I've said shit, blah, blah. So you know I talk to you, right? He's just like, yo, nigga, when you say, like, when you bring it to immediately to your stream or whatever or whatever platform you put it on and you were like damn this nigga ain't respond to my messages blah 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 and this that, and third he said yo i don't really do interviews so i told him i said i'm gonna keep it real with you keith <clears throat> i seen you do like two or three interviews in the last couple of years like i'm just saying bro i i covered your career a long time I'm trying to, ca and I told him straight up, I said, I'm cashing in on all of my good favors with a lot of niggas. And he says, nah, I get that. But he's like, yo, bro, you, you shouldn't have just instantly went to, you know what I mean? Because people are hitting me making it seem like, yo, like we got issues. And I'm like, nah, I know that boy academic just tweaking. You get me? And he said to me too, because I'm, you know me, I'm going to keep it up. You get me? And he said to me too. Because you know me, I'm going to keep it at 100%. Somebody says, Aqua is crying with the Henny about no rappers responding. <clears throat> That's another thing I, I, I have to tell Bro, this is, this is a show that I get to do what I've, whatever I want. You're not going to get that many opportunities in life. You're not going to get paid millions of dollars to do what you want. A lot of times you're going to get paid handsomely to do what people want you to do. Or what a company wants. They're allowing me to do what I want. Bro, I could have... Dog, I fuck with Interscope, Atlantic, Sony, Epic. I could just tell them who's, on, who's the next person I drop in, who's the next big artist I drop in an album for. Okay, put them on my platform. They need me for other shit anyway. They're going to do it. No, the first people I hit up are the people who I know that I've tried to help their career and I've promoted them to center. Feel me? And even, I ain't gonna lie, Keith even brought this up. He said, I, he said, I ain't gonna lie. 
and because we cleared everything up, you know what I mean? Everything is cool with us. He cleared, we cl- cleared, and, 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 and yo, he said, I'm gonna be honest with you, that was shit was lame as hell when you said you not about to post me no more. Um, just cause of this. And, and, and I said to him, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't even remember saying that shit. <laughs> so, so I was like, huh? I was like, I was like, damn, I don't remember saying that. But I was like, yo, I said, if I did say it, which I probably did, obviously I said it. I said, nigga, I said, I knew this, this would get your attention. Like, nigga, if you were trying to ignore me, once I say I ain't finna post you, I know you about to hit me up. Let's have the conversation, whatever, whatever it is. And you know, um, somebody says Henny got the best of you. Now I say that Henny got Henny got some of the uh, best of me. But truth be told, though, you know, as I was telling Keith, I'm like, yo, bro, you gotta realize this is a platform that means a lot to me that I'm trying to build, bro. I've went so hard with other platforms that was not official, was not cosigned or whatever. And it helped people. This is a time that I feel like y'all have to repay those favors. I'm going to be honest with you. And I told him, nigga, I hit everybody like that. Nigga, I even hit Drake like that. I'm going to keep it a thousand with y'all. Nigga, I'm not here to be friends with y'all niggas because you know what it is? Keith has sent me stuff to post. Like, yo, hey, could you post this? Or, hey, yo, 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 this is my shit. Nigga, I'm going to put it up. When y'all got favors, I don't leave niggas on red. You know why? Niggas is on my ass, yo. You ain't see my shit just drop? Yo, you don't fuck with us? That's how niggas talk to me. Real talk. So I want y'all to understand. These rappers, y'all, and I know, like, y'all, y'all always going to see their side. Bro, as a media platform, they talk to you like, nigga, you not about to post my shit? You not about to promote me for free? You not about to do this? You not about to do that? Nigga. You don't fuck with, like, they treat it like you don't fuck with me. I'll take the L in, in the sense of, you know, I think, you know, not even I think, I should have, there's many different ways to get to Keith. I, I, I could have flushed that out a little bit more, even if he left me on red, because really, truth be told, the stream happened when he left me on red for like two hours. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Yo, he left me on red for like two hours. I ain't gonna lie. But... Truth be told, I'm looking at him like, yo, damn, nigga, when you want some shit up, if I don't fuck, if I don't respond, you gonna be like, oh, oh, Aggie, you don't fuck with me like that? Right? Or, oh, word, that's what it is? So, damn, if I'm hitting y'all about something for me, show some respect back. We gotta, we gotta have some mutual respect. Man, I helped build a lot of people's careers, and, and again, now I get to clean it up if I did say it, but I don't think I made Chief Keith, but bro, I was one of the the main media outlets to help promote Chief Keith. And I'm gonna be honest with you, like when you get past all that bullshit, I think a lot of them realized it. When Chief Keith hit me up and said, "Yo, act, yo, why you stop doing the Warren shot rack?" I was fucking with that shit. Of course, you was fucking with that shit, my nigga, because I was making you look like Superman. I was promoting you all over the place. <clears throat> so you don't care. Vic Mensa had a problem with me. He was cool with the niggas that were, that you would have may have considered ops or some other shit. I made Chief Keith, Lil Reese, Lil Dirk, Fredo Santana look like superhumans. I'm going to keep it a thousand with you. So when I did all that, and I, 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 and I didn't have no plan of doing that, but that was just my immature assessment of shit going on based on the information I had. Cool. I helped promote y'all to a certain extent. You tell me if I got some shit, and even if it's like, you know, and I even told him when, when we talked last night, it was like, yo, I, I get it. You don't do interviews, but I said, like, yo, bro, you could just hit me and just told me you don't do interviews, or you're not doing it right now. I think I'm not going to force you to do an interview. That's not the case. But, like, I I did feel offended when I feel like you trying to treat me like a bird. Because, nigga, I spent a lot of my career hyping you up. And 
also, this is where nobody really want to give me my credit. And, and and I don't even give a fuck. You know, some people, I have many conversations. I don't give a fuck about it. Bro, at this point, I don't got to talk about, no, like, no disrespect to Chief Keef. I don't got to talk about Chief Keef. I don't. I don't got to talk about a lot of these dudes. Bro, I'm academics already. Nigga, the Warren Chirac was 10 years ago. I've done mad shit since. I just care about that because I really liked that and I really like Keith. So when I'm putting that all, all, all out there, and, and by the way, there's nobody right or wrong. I agree with Keith. I think I was too gung-ho in, in terms of trying to feel I, I, I needed a response or feeling like he was trying to curve me. And I told him that last time. I was like, yeah, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like you're trying to curve me like, like I was one of the bitches in your DMs, bro. And you know how much I've promoted you or have tried to. Like, I wouldn't have said that if you had told me, nah, bro, I'm, I ain't doing interviews right now, but I'm gonna check your shit out. But you won't leave a nigga on red. That's why I, I felt that way. Anyway, and by the way, for the people who listen to this, you might be like, yo, Aggie, you are a hoe. You're so upset about somebody leave you on red. <clears throat> that is some whole shit. You're right. But I'm going to be honest with you. I really feel that a lot of what I've done getting to this point, man, I'm going to keep it a thousand with y'all. I don't care what y'all say. Nigga, I still take a lot of blame for it. Or I, people still give me all the flack. Man, the reason why niggas thought, uh, uh, um, Thought Lil Reese was the Mr. Indestructible kill every nigga. I named him the Grim Reaper, my nigga. I covered him like he was God. Like he could decide by just typing L-O-L -L and niggas died. Bro, I covered Chief Keith the same way. Now, truth be told, that wasn't by design. Like I really was just looking at him like, damn. Every time this nigga type L-O-L, -L, a nigga die. But... After a couple of years, you kind of feel like, damn, I helped create a lot of the mystique around y'all. That was then. Now, we in a different part of our careers. When I did an interview with Lil Reese, I didn't hit up Lil Reese to do that interview. Lil Reese hit me up. He was independent. He wanted to. Do an interview. You you think he could get on the Breakfast Club? I, I just want to be honest with y'all. You think Lil Reese could get on the Breakfast Club? You think they had something to talk to him about? Nah. But that's why if y'all was like, yo, act was emotional. Nigga, I'm emotional because niggas use you as a stepping stool. When nobody was thinking about y'all, I'm gassing y'all up. Then y'all became mainstream and y'all, whatever, whatever. Everybody want to talk to y'all. But it ain't 2012 or 2013 or 2014 no more. It's 2021. And nobody really want to hear those same stories again. I seen Lil Reese. I love Lil Reese. But he told a story about him getting shot in the parking lot to some blogger I'd never seen before. I seen him that day when I saw the interview. The Breakfast Club don't care about that. People Magazine don't click, care about that. BT don't care about that. MTV don't care about that. I've always made it my business to try to care about these niggas' story. So when I feel like they're playing me at a point that I feel that I don't need them, it, it makes me feel a little way. And I'm human. It is what it is. Um, but I had a conversation with Keith, and I just want to tell y'all that probably, probably no interview will come from it, but we had an understanding that, man, that's because Keith, Keith not in the, in the business of really – doing too much talking and I just felt like he could have just told me that from the get-go 